Hey guys, so we're back with another little Q&A session here. And our first question is, do y'all do Santa? So not really, at least not in the traditional sense of what most people think of whenever they do Santa. Um, we don't try and pull the wool uh, over the, the eyes of the children and lie to them that there's a strange man coming into our house. Um, <laughs> Which is different than the way I grew up, because you know, we we believed in Santa until I was old enough to realize that there was no Santa, but it took some investigative and I effort. Yeah. Yeah. I so didn't do it. we had differences in our own backgrounds, and I think this might be one of those things that we just kind of do something somewhere in the middle of both of our backgrounds. Yeah. So with our own kids, um, we don't do Santa, but we they're aware of Santa and all of that. So um, they watch Christmas movies with Santa and Rudolph and Frosty and all of that. We just tell them that like we don't completely abstain from Santa's Santa. Santa's not real, but like yeah. Saint Nicholas was real and stuff. Anyway, so we just yeah, we just choose to not like focus our holiday around Santa um or elves or something, but they're very aware and we just tell them don't talk with your friends about it cuz we don't want to like ruin anything for anybody else so especially coming from like a, a biblical perspective and um kind of working through this as parents ourselves now i feel like it's well not just me both of us I feel like it's important to kind of think about how it lands on a child and if you know we're trying to talk about how santa's real and how santa's doing this or that and then they found out that's not real how might that affect the way that they um perceive the gospel and like the Bible as we're moving forward and as they're maturing, are they going to think, is this like Santa? Like this is okay to believe when you're younger, but it's not really okay. We just pretend to believe it. So I think I've even thought about things like that. So we want to be open and honest with them from the beginning and say, no, like Santa's not real in that sense. So there's like the spirit of Santa in Christmas that's really cool and that's really exciting. And we still want to enjoy that. But we want to tell our kids that, you know, um, Santa's not real, but don't tell your friends at school that and ruin it for them. <laughs> yeah, so we have fun, but like we're not totally against it. I think we're still figuring it out kind of as parents and we're not like, I don't know. We don't, we don't have it all figured out for sure, but um, that's where we're at right now with it. So um, we're not like super, I mean, you brought up the gospel and stuff, but like we're not like super like, theological about it or whatever I don't know like no it's not it's I, not like totally it's just like that maybe like a thought that you had about it or something yeah that's a thought that I had about it I was just wondering how it might how how different and different kids are different so like yeah, yeah, yeah like so for some kid that's really thinking about it it might cause them more to question what you put forward as truth in other areas like um the bible and about like well did Noah's Ark really happen like did the whole earth really flood uh, and other kids might like, not care as much. Yeah, and other kids might, might not care as much, but... Um, you can hear I, our kids in the background right now. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> that's just something I've thought about. Yeah, I yeah. Think, yeah. I think it's a good thought. I think I caught you off guard when I mentioned it, but I think I've mentioned it before. Yeah, I think we've talked about it before, too. But, but I just wanted to make sure other people know. You know, we've talked about it, but, like, other people know it's not, like, super, like... Being it for deep. it or against it super deep in like the thought about it or something too. No, but these are just considerations. Yeah, like we're we still just figuring thought about it out kind of what thing. What to think about. So with that said, I think anything that parents are working through, they should consider how it's going to affect their parenting and their um, explanation to their kids in other areas too. Because, you know, you don't operate in a vacuum. You know, in your family, kids are gonna think about in the back of their head what they're hearing and what they're getting from you in other areas too and see if that jives with everything else that they've heard yeah but we do stockings there's our stockings up there i mean we don't really associate it with santa so like i don't really know what our kids think well, about it but like there will be things in their stocking on christmas day yeah that we've that, put in there you know, santa put in there but <laughs> you know well, well we didn't we'll even tell santa. them santa put it in there okay well, did we last year <laughs> Not last year's. Basically, the point is, <laughs> tune in to Dillard's see, Christmas. This 20, is us. <laughs> tune in to Dillard's Christmas 2021 to see how it's evolved from this year <laughs> to go. next year. 
There you go. There you go. There come our kids out of the room. They're supposed to be in there. We're, we're constantly iPad. trying to reevaluate and see what's best for our family and our situation. You can't get a Is the volume on Israel? Okay. Okay. We'll be right back with the other question. Thank you. Okay, question number two is, what does Christmas look like for your family? So just really quick. It's red and green, we... there's trees, there's the stockings. <laughs> so far, Christmas for our family kind of looks like we, um, on Thanksgiving, um, we put away our fall decor and pull out all of our Christmas stuff and decorate at the end of the day. Um, and so that's been fun. And then we, we've kind of tried to add now that we're in our own little space here, our new house last year, Finally. we um, got like an outdoor Christmas decoration thing. So we like trying to like add to our decor every year a little yeah, bit. Yeah, like with our outside fun. Christmas lights. We don't have we, a lot, like we're not. We bought a nativity sure. set and our nativity consisted of Mary, Joseph and baby Jesus. Uh, we couldn't get like the super accurate version. So I think more of a white, <laughs> um, Mary and Joseph and baby Jesus, whenever he was actually probably more darker Middle Eastern to be accurate. But anyway, we went with what we could find at Walmart. So, um, but anyway, so we, we thought about adding like a piece, maybe we'll add a sheep next year. I thought we were talking about adding like other things too. Other things? Like blow up. We're gonna be like our neighbors. Like, like you're talking about like uh, Christmas vacation, Chevy Here Chase house. Maybe not that crazy. Jill's thinking more like, <laughs> She's I'm thinking, like adding more things. I'm thinking we're gonna put a live sheep <laughs> and have a live nativity and put our uh, uh, newborn infant uh, that we may or may not have this time <laughs> next year as baby Jesus no. and then have like and then add like a live animal. No. Jill's thinking more like Chevy I was thinking Chase, like Christmas add vacation. another wreath, add another blow up thing, whatever. I don't know. Okay. Clark. Right now it's very simple. Okay. <laughs> Clark. Clark Griswold. Not either. Anyway. No. Anyway, so we decorate on Thanksgiving. And then we, um, which this year, beautiful weather, by the way. So it worked out perfect. It was like 65, 75. It was like close to record highs on Thanksgiving day. So it just worked out nice to like decorate for Thanksgiving. Yeah, it was great. Christmas. Um, sorry to cut you off. And then, no, we're cool. Um, we do our advent stuff too. We do like our cards. We have like the, um, from crew and co we have like the little advent cards that go along with the Jesus storybook Bible. So that's something we've done for like three years now. That's super fun. The boys look forward to it. You read like a story every night and then um, it ends like Christmas Eve and then you can read the Christmas story. Um, and it's really neat. It really too. brings scripture, the Bible all together. So the first day of December, it starts out the Advent story with like creation mm -hmm. and then talks about how, you know, the world was broken and how God's, you know, redeeming it ties the Old Testament into the New Testament and then, um, you know, culminates with the entry of Jesus into humanity and the Christmas, everything that we celebrate with Christmas. Yeah, so, so it's cool. super cool. So we love that. This year we're also doing the Jesse tree ornaments um, for the tree. So it kind of goes along with like Advent, but it's the tree ornaments. And then um, you saw something or heard something recently I think you heard it from Bedtime Bible Stories about um, like hiding baby Jesus. Was that Oh, yeah. So recently. We haven't done this, but it was a cool idea. We haven't done this, but we're always looking for cool ideas, traditions to start in our own family. And recently, um, we heard the idea from somebody else about hiding baby Jesus in the, in the nativity and then um, giving clues throughout December about where Jesus is. Like, I think one clue that they gave as an example was that he came as a fragrant offering. It was a verse from Ephesians. So the clue was, you know, fragrant offering, meaning like that day Jesus was like in the garden. So like in like their flower And if they bed found outside. it, you said they would hide it yeah, again. Yeah, if they found it, they would hide it again. But basically to really get kids involved and not just be like, um, you know, not just have kids along for the ride and not really be interested in it but it really be about a teaching moment for your children, so. So yeah, so, and then we do that and then Advent leads up to Christmas Day and then on Christmas Day, we usually wake up super early, well, 
Christmas Eve or Christmas morning, we'll read the Christmas story and um, the boys will have already watched all the Christmas movies, like everything. Usually Christmas Eve or Christmas Day, we'll watch the Nativity story mm -hmm. and then uh, read the Christmas story um, from the Bible. And then um, we'll wake up early, open gifts um, as a little family here, and then we'll um, have maybe... I don't know, we've done a few different things, whether like Derek's family comes over here or whatever, we'll have some kind of like lunch with friends or family. Um, and then I think this year we'll have like a lunch here, mm -hmm. keeping it small. And then we'll do something with your family the next day, I think. Yeah, this year. That's our plan. So but usually we'll like, see, we'll try <laughs> weather and, permitting and everything. Yeah, usually we'll keep it with just our family Christmas morning and then I feel like a lot of families do that and then have like extended family over for like a dinner or lunch and then you know a second Christmas the next day and then a third Christmas and we buy stuff so like with my family we exchange names so we don't buy for like the entire family we buy um, just like the same amount for our families so like the, the guys will exchange gifts and the girls and like the little boys and little girls so that works out really nice too with Derek's family it's smaller so like we just we, all get just buy gifts. for yeah yeah everybody so anyways and then that's our christmas and then we keep our christmas decorations up for like forever to like we'll January. take them down before school july <laughs> the 12th so, day of christmas my mom um i always joked that she was born on the 12th day of christmas so usually growing up we would always leave our christmas decorations up until her birthday the 12th day of christmas which is january 6th january 6th yeah. <laughs> So anyways, right that's our Christmas. Yeah. Did you have anything else to add? I don't know. What was the question again? What does Christmas look like for your family? Oh, we also go to church Christmas program. That was the other yeah. thing we do. Mm -hmm. I was trying to think. We like to go look at Christmas lights, go on drives, all of that. Yeah, do all the fun Christmas things. We have like a church Christmas program usually. What, baby? Come on. Come say hi. Can you say hi? Hi. <laughs> Okay, is go it, ask Israel if you can is have a turn. It, is it my turn, Mr. Alcott? Yes, for a little bit. Anyways. I um, our babysitter. So, yeah, church Christmas program. Um, we like that, too. It's really nice. Yeah, that really has Fun. been a tradition of ours the last few years. Mm -hmm. And if we can't attend, then we watch online and stuff. Mm -hmm. So, anyways. Yeah. That's what it looks like for us. So we hope that you guys have a super happy Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas from the Dillards. <laughs> and happy um, Hanukkah. Kwan Kwanzaa. Kwanzaa, whatever, all the things, everything. Um, and <laughs> we hope that you guys will subscribe to our YouTube channel and um, also feel free to drop any more questions that you have for us. We still have some from that we're hoping to answer in future Q&As, but we wanted to do this fun little Christmas Q&A. Um, so anyways, yeah, let us know your questions in the comments here on the blog, and um, yeah, try to answer them. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.